Hello everyone and welcome to Wervin's World and today I'll go into detail of dome commands. So our dome just finished building and I'm ready to um, basically make it livable for humans. So as you can see here there's this little environmental dome command center basically this little little building there. If you click on that you get all the things that's happening to our dome. You can see the base radiation, which is the outside radiation. You can see the radiation in the dome, which is at the moment the same. Uh, you can see the external temperature, internal temperature. You can see the gravity. You can see the pressure. You can see uh, which um, gases are in there. And you can see that basically everything is deadly to us. So it's not very nice yet for us humans. So let's make it better. Um, so first of all, the gravity is way too high. Let's fix that. The gravity uh, is 2.427 G here, and 1 G is kind of one Earth equivalent. Um, so basically, we want it to go to 1. So what we can say is mod grav minus 1.427, because 2.427 minus 1.427 is 1, and then it will set... The, um, you will see here the instructions of this dome is to keep modifying the gravity with this amount in order to keep it stable. So now the gravity is ideal. Perfect. What about uh, the radiation? The radiation is too low at the moment and you can see it's 0 0.491413 um, Earth-like uh, equivalence basically, right? So uh, this works a bit differently from uh, gravity. To adjust the radiation, we need to mo know how many times should we uh, adjust this. So basically, which factor should we multiply this with to get one? So in this case, we need to increase the radiation. And if you do one divided by this number, um, you get uh, 2.035 because this is uh, about half of, uh, of normal radiation. So we can say um, polarize. You can see here, uh, here which commands we can use, and one of them is polarize. And we can say polarize 2.035, which means our dome will multiply the normal radiation by 2.035 um, all the time, and then we will have ideal tropical radiation. Perfect. Then we get to temperature. At the moment it's way too high and uh, one thing to know about the temperature is it's measured in Kelvin. If you don't know exactly what Kelvin is, it's a different way of measuring temperature um, and basically the zero Kelvin is the lowest temperature that is possible in, uh, in the known world. And that's because temperature is basically uh, regulated by how fast molecules move. And once molecules can't move anymore, it can't get colder than that. So when molecules are completely still, it's um, zero Kelvin, and that's an equivalent to minus 273.15 Celsius. So it's very, very cold. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, because I don't, I don't use Fahrenheit myself. Um, so basically, if we want to have a nice kind of Earth-like temperature, we want it to be about 21, 22 degrees, right? Which is basically 295-ish degrees. So to do that, we can say um, heat when the temperature is uh, lower than 294 degrees, right? So then it will it will heat it up. Um, I actually found a better temperature for this, uh, the kind of exact temperature. So I will look that up now. One second. Yes. So apparently the the best temperature uh, to have is around uh, 296.4 ish, and to um, 295 and stuff is fine, but then the temperature will just say okay, it won't say ideal. I'm not entirely sure what that does, it probably has something to do with the morale of the workers or something like that. But basically what we can say is um, we can ask the environmental dome to heat the temperature when it's less than 296.2 degrees Celsius. Needs periods instead of commas, yes. There. So now if it's lower than that, the dome will heat up. We can say cool when the temperature is higher 
than 296.6 degrees Kelvin. So um, basically this will make sure the environmental dome will always be between these two values which will make uh, the temperature ideal uh, which is nice. So then um, I guess we get to the fun part. Um, so if you see here we have a pressure and we want this pressure, the gas pressure, to be at one, kind of one Earth-like uh, unit of gas pressure. Um, however, it's not the case at the moment, it's, it's four times less. So we need to get gases into the dome to make the pressure correct. However, even if we do get the pressure correct, uh, humans will still die in here because the gas here consists of carbon dioxide, methane, ammonia and nitrogen which are not very nice for example we are missing oxygen right and we have some poisonous stuff in the air we we don't want that um so what we need to know for this is how much uh, tons of gas can we have in the dome to get a pressure of um of one and well uh, someone figured that out and i found it on the wikipedia and it's actually exactly um 428,821 tons of gas so basically 430,000 tons of gas. Um, and that gas needs to be distributed in a certain way, just like on Earth. For example, on Earth we have about 78% of nitrogen, 21% of oxygen, 0.4% of car uh, carbon dioxide. And uh, here they also suggest to have a, um, uh, a quarter of a percent of ammonia, a quarter of a percent of methane, and 0.7%. 2.07% uh, water vapor. So then we need to calculate how much of those um, 430,000 tons of gas is 78% of nitrogen. Well, I already did those calculations and that is um, 334,847. So what we want to do, we see here that we have way less. We've got 11,000 something tons of nitrogen right and we want to bring that up to um, 334,000 so what we do is tell uh, the dome please intake gases from outside um, please take uh, nitrogen when nitrogen is lower than the amount we want right so it will now be taking up nitrogen until it's at the perfect level and then it will stop taking in nitrogen, which is nice. So then we want to create some oxygen. However, we don't have any oxygen in our atmosphere, but we can take uh, the oxygen molecules from the carbon uh, dioxide. So that brings me immediately to carbon dioxide first. Um, we want to have 0.4% uh, of carbon dioxide in our, uh, in our dome. Uh, which is equivalent to 1715 tons. So we basically say, please intake CO2 when uh, CO2 is uh, less than our amount that we want, which is 1715. So we click that, and then it's also venting in. Uh, carbon dioxide. So be careful. Uh, I actually already did uh, one one dome of this, uh, which unfortunately I accidentally deleted afterwards the entire dome, so I had to start it all over again. Um, but I did these dome con commands uh, in the uh, more scientific way, in a sense, like I typed CO2 with capitals and N2 with capitals. Um, and even though it takes the commands, it, it doesn't say there's anything wrong, um, nothing happens. So basically, I was thinking my dome were bugged or something, and um, but in the end, it just turned out to be a capital letter problem. So that's it. So now we will always have some CO2 in here, right? Because once we don't have uh, 1715 in there, we will intake some. At the moment, we have a lot of it. We've got uh, 45,000 tons, so it's no problem yet at all. Um, so with the CO2 we have, we want to split the CO2 into O2 when, uh, yeah, so we want to split CO2 when O2 is less than the required amount. And we want to have um, 
21-ish percent of oxygen. So that uh, is a total of 89,821 tons of oxygen. So we split carbon dioxide until oxygen is at this level. So the syntax means basically split uh, carbon dioxide if oxygen is lower than a certain uh, level. So we do that. And now the good thing is, uh, if we split up all our car uh, carbon dioxide, then number five will come into action and it will intake carbon dioxide from the outside and will basically fill up it le its level again. So basically it's a, it's a foolproof way of doing it, right? Then we've got the problem of our toxic gases. We've got way too much methane and we've got way too much ammonia. So CH4 is methane and H3 is ammonia and we want to get rid of it or at least most of it. Um, so basically we want to vent away, uh, no capitals, we want to uh, vent away NH3 when NH3 is higher than this amount, 1072. Then we also want to vent away our CH4. So capital letters. Um, and CH4 should also be uh, 1072 because that's 0 0.25% of the 428,000 tons. Um, so we want to vent away CH4 when CH4 is more than this amount. Alright, then there is uh, basically two things left to do. First of all, we are splitting CO2, right? And we are using the oxygen to fill up the atmosphere uh, until, uh, where is it? Yeah, until uh, the level is at uh, 89,000 uh, tons. However, that leaves us with a lot of carbon and we don't want the carbon. It just will pollute us. So we just vent, see, there, vent all the carbon that you get. We don't want it. Um, then there is water. Uh, water can be... Uh, made. You could, for example, uh, take the oxygen from the CO2 and take the hydrogen from either the ammonia and then you could use the combine command. However, we only need a very minute amount of water in the atmosphere, 0.07%, uh, which is a total of 300 tons. So what I will do to make it easier, I will actually uh, just show you I will go to the stock market and I will see if there's a colony that sells water. And yes, there is. Amazon is selling it. So I'll go there. There. Open stock market. And basically, I just want uh, where's the water there? I'll have 300 of it. Thank you. Bye. So another thing I can immediately show you, um, we needed a lot of nitrogen in our uh, thing, right? And at the moment we're kind of uh, doing that through the intake command. However, that can take a long, long time. It can take like a day or maybe even two, I'm not sure. Uh, what we can also do is, for example, buy from other players. This one is selling nitrogen for, uh, for one credit, so that's not a lot. So I can buy the maximum amount of that, which is now 13,000, almost 14,000. And I can go back to my settlement on in there. There we go. So where's the command console? There it is. So you see it, it just keeps all these instructions. It will keep them forever until you delete them. You can actually delete them. You can just uh, type in del. Let's say you don't want to split this for some reason anymore. You can just say del 6 and it will delete the sixth line out of it. Um, so that's possible. So um, we want to have water, right? Because uh, it says H2O, too dry, lethal. So then we just say unload. 300 water and suddenly our water level is okay it's not perfect yet because um, the the pressure is too low once the pressure gets exactly right the the water gets exactly right as well uh, we can also add the nitrogen because at the moment we have uh, 12,000 nitrogen and we want here we go we want 334 
thousand nitrogen. So we can say unload uh, 13696, what I have in my cargo, nitrogen. And now it got added to this nitrogen. So you can make a lot of runs to other colonies in order to supply it so it's uh, the dome is stabilized faster. Um, but for the rest, yeah, it's just uh, waiting. So basically now it's it's venting out all the poisonous gases. It's uh, creating oxygen. Uh, there we already have some oxygen that uh, that it made already a thousand tons uh, while we were picking up water. Uh, the temperature is is perfect. Uh, perfect. It's polarizing. It's adjusting the gravity, and then it's just a matter of time until it's uh, finished. Yes. So as you can see here. Um, everything has gone very well so the gravity is ideal the pressure is ideal the right radi radiation is ideal temperature is ideal oxygen levels are okay water levels are okay toxic gases are okay and carbon dioxide is okay i'm not entirely sure if these can be ideal or not um, but at least they're okay and it's habitable so that's perfect so now the dome is actually habitable people can live there i can start building buildings there um, and finally make a productive colony out of it um, so yes, so that's how you program a dome in order to become habitable. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment or shoot me a message in game or on the forums and I'm uh, happy to help. Uh, so hope you find it useful and see you next time.